Hey guys, this video is on how to use a modeling stone for eye area to reduce darkness, puffiness, to create a lift for the eyebrow. I've had some really good results working with this type of stone on clients and my um, hands-on treatment. So this is what, why I'm sharing this today. So you need um, some form of a stone. It could be maybe a little silicone ball or soft rubber ball if you happen to have one lying around, or you could just get one of those in rose quartz or, uh, or nephrid on Amazon or something. It doesn't cost much money. Um, so the key on how to use this, we are doing a dry application. You don't need any cream or gel around the eye area. You can do that afterwards, but this needs to bind. So we aren't using anything that makes the surface slippery. And the key in the technique of this is to think about how you would make a pizza base with a rolling pin. So um, if you are trying to roll out a piece of pastry, a piece of, of, of flat base, you don't press too hard, otherwise it's not going to lengthen, but equally you don't lengthen too much or don't pull too much sideways because you're going to have a hole in your pastry base. So this is an actual rolling pin, right? <laughs> just to show you before I show with the stone. So if you just press down, nothing's going to happen. If you pull too much, you're going to have a hole. So what you need is a gentle anchor at the, at the point where your movement initiates. And then without pressing too much into the tissue, you apply a gentle pulling action away from your anchor point, just like that. And you roll and your pizza base lengthens, yeah? Just like that. So we apply this type of action to the eye area. The muscle around the eye, the circular muscle um, that surrounds the eye, as we do all this kind of <laughs> action as we frown, as we tense our eyes looking at, in, into devices, it wants to shrink towards the midline. And what we are doing is we are pulling it gently, encouraging it to, to stretch and lengthen away from the midline. And this combats um, wrinkles in this area. So we start at the bottom of the eye. We anchor our fingers gently, uh, just next to the no nose, to the bridge of the nose. And then we start little rolling actions just on that bone here. So not going too close to the eye. We are going on that contour that separates the darkness under your eyes from what lies underneath. As the darkness, the edge of the darkness is typically the, the area of action of the circular muscle around the eye. So again, I'm anchoring where my movement starts and my movement is a gentle pull sideways. Maybe it's not so easy to see under the eye. So again, the action is like this, yeah? Gentle pulling away from the base. Super. And then when you get to the temple area, you could gently Hold so you aren't wrinkling just around that outside corner of the eye and you could gently massage the area of crow's feet. You know, so here we have a connection of two bones, one on top, one on the bottom. And that area of bone connection also creates a lot of tension. So gently massaging, smoothing this out while anchoring the skin. Really, really good. Super. Now we're going to do the upper eyelid. I'm going to show you how. So here again, a gentle anchor to the midline or anywhere where you can see wrinkling. So I anchored here towards the corner and I'm rolling this out literally like a pastry sheet. Just like that. Nice and smooth, yeah?
Now, very gently, very cautiously, holding the weight of the stone, not applying the full weight of the stone onto the eyelid, we are going to massage the eyeball itself. Obviously, have you any eye problems, uh, if you are in contact lenses, if there's an issue with pressure in your eyes or any infection, please don't do this. So again, we aren't applying the full weight of the stone on the eye, we are holding some of that weight back. So closing the eye, that same rolling and stretching action, just over the eyelid. So there's a gentle pressure on the eyeball itself, but it's very, very, very gentle. This one is particularly beautiful if you have darkness here above the eye, particularly. This is beautifully relieving. If you've got an office job, I do. Relaxing your eyes after staring into devices. Very, very gentle, very gentle. You see, I'm not applying too much pressure. I'm sort of following the curvature of my lid as opposed to just dumping the weight of the stone into it. Super. And then just to work this area here, I'm going to show you one eye in this video and then you can do the other eye on your own. So here, this one here, the, the anchor point of the muscle that frowns the brow like this, that frowns the brow. And here, we're actually going to hold here because the muscle begins here and then goes towards the middle of the brow. So it's actually more beneficial to hold here. And then we stretch all the way along the length and muscle. Could be a little bit of sensitivity here. try targeted action on that grove of the number 11 and here I actually like to pull out to the side like this so that there isn't any additional creasing and with the sharp edge of your egg here working directly into that line really really good stuff Super, a bit of redness here, this is a good thing. And now we repeat the same sequence on the other side. So starting from the bridge of the nose, going under the eye, massaging cross feet area here, going over the eyelid, going over the eyeball, and then massaging on top, and finally targeted action into number 11 crease. I hope this helps, let me know.